Jody Shuffle, and we'll be taking a look at the recent plans to see what's coming up for this month, September, which is the present time. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Scorpio, in the recent past, you got the Eight of Wands, and it's with the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Wands um, is showing that some things were up in the air in the recent past. Um, you probably were frustrated and tired of waiting for some news, information, or just something to happen. But this card it indicates that you would have needed to be patient a while longer. You probably done all that you could do. Now decisions, they needed to be made by other people. But nothing probably seemed to be moving ahead. But you couldn't force things. And I say this because if you tried to force things, it would have backfired on you. Just know sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrists. And all we can do is put our best out there and see where it lands. So it's a, you're playing a waiting game with this Eight of Wands coming up for the recent past. Now it's with the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a very positive card in the tarot, particularly when it comes to work or career questions. Um, but it's a really good overall card in the tarot. It means that you were doing well. Three of Pentacles tell you that people around you they appreciated you and your efforts, and they noticed the quality of work that you did, even if you didn't get paid for it. The three tells you that you should have kept doing what you were doing because you were right on track. There could have been some room for improvement. But at that time, you would not have needed to scrap something and then start again. So, Scorpio, with these two cards paired together for your recent past, there was something you were just tired of waiting for. But it was coming in, but it just wasn't happening fast enough. But like I said, it could have been communication from someone or something, or just maybe a situation that just wasn't happening fast enough. Um, but it was, it was moving along, but just not as fast as you would have liked for it to. And you knew, and you knew if you tried to push it or force it to go faster or just push it, then it would have backfired. And um, now because it's with the Three of Pentacles, Whatever it is you were waiting for, it turned out to be really good. Because this Three of Pentacles is about um, great, something beneficial, something really good and beneficial. It finally came in, and you probably experienced some teamwork, collaboration. Or maybe you, you acquired some type of skill or quality that people really looked up to you. Because, yeah, you were very skilled and you knew what you were doing. You see how these two, two people are at this man's, um, and they're kneeling down to him and they're looking up and he's showing them what he's doing. And they're at, a, at an amazement. They're at an awe. So, yeah, so whatever you were waiting on, it turned out to be really good. It was worth the wait. And um, people just probably started to look up to you and paid more attention to you. They noticed what you were doing. Um, you offered benefits or someone offered you benefits. So whatever it was you were waiting on, it turned out to be darn good because there's nothing bad about the Three of Pentacles. So you could have collaborated with someone or something just came together really well and you benefited from it. So that is the recent past. Let's get off of that. Let's see what we got coming up for September, which is the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Now the Four of Pentacles, it's about holding on too tight. And because if you take a look at this card, the Four of Pentacles is a card above the word present. This man, he's on all fours and he's got his hands on his money and his feet on his money. Holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than is healthy or realistic. So when this card appears, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to. And whether others are clinging to you in an, in an, un, in an unhealthy way. Three of Pentacles is about fear and anxiety. Could be about money. 
or you could start to feel like you're clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. Now, the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping like this, it will not bring security. So it's paired with the Five of Pentacles, which is showing that this could be a time when you might start to feel less than secure. Now, the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. You could start to feel alone as though everyone has has everything and you're the only one who's suffering. Yeah, and if you start to feel alone, just know that you can change that. Reach out. You could start to feel like you're being left out in the cold by someone or something is making you feel that way. But just realize that this is not the case or it doesn't have to be the case. It doesn't have to be the situation. So do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help is to go out and ask for it because the help you need will come. Five of Pentacles, uh, Scorpio, is not a heavy indicator when it comes to love questions. The person that you have your eye on could be, they, you could feel as though they're not treating you the way that they should. So with these two cards paired together, Four of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles, it looks like you could be clinging on to something that makes you feel secure because that's what he's doing you're or you could be resistant to change um yeah you're holding on to something really tight and you're doing this because of this five of pentacles you're afraid of not feeling secure because the five of four pentacles is about holding on to what makes you feel secure and the five of pentacles is about a not feeling secure so you're afraid of not you're afraid of not having security. Could be with, could be with your finances. It could be with um, a person. You're afraid of being left out in the cold. So it looks like you you're trying to hold on really tight to a person, situation, or a thing, something, because you're really, really afraid of. And so you're afraid of just being left out in the cold or you're afraid of not having the security that you need. So maybe you're dependent on someone financially. Or maybe it could be that in the recent past, we talked about how you, you're experiencing, you finally experienced some great benefits. Benefits could have been financially. And now you're holding on to it real tight. Maybe some money came in because when we talked about the recent past, the Spirit of Pentacles, it's about experiencing some benefits. So maybe some money came in and now you're holding on to it real tight. Yeah, if you look at the picture of this Four of Pentacles, the card that's above the word present, this man, he, like I said, he's on all fours. His eyes look like they're on all fours of his pinnacle. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head and his brain looks like it's about to explode. So maybe you're experiencing some success with money. You're clinging on to it really tight. And you're afraid of maybe losing it or something that's making you cling on to something really tight. Yeah, whatever it is, it finally came in was from the recent past something finally came in and it looks like you waited maybe waited so long for it to happen something really good and now you're just holding on in an unhealthy way you don't want to feel less than secure or you're afraid that if you didn't hold on really tight to someone or something you wouldn't have the security 
that you need. So, that's the situation for September, but let's see what the challenge is going to be, even though that sounds like a challenge. Now, we got the hangman and the ace of wands. Now, the hangman is showing um, that you could feel like you're at a crossroads, one with only two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea of what it is or how to do it. Now, if this does happen, it's a sign that you should stop, relax. Take a look at any ways that you might let go of any attempts to control life situations, people, or things, because it's possible that there could be an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So this could be a thoughtful, reflective time especially if you're willing to look at if or how, you might serve your own best interest by being willing to change. Now, that's a hangman and it's with the Ace of Wands, which is about a new beginning or new beginnings. Very positive ones, um, could be in the realm of accomplishments and it could be related to work or career. And if you're having a difficult time, just know that things are about to get better really soon because this wand, it looks like it's sitting above the clouds, but it's not. It actually bursts above the clouds really fast. So things are about to get better very soon. This card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, and really hopeful about the future with a good cause. So you'll be feeling energetic, positive, and if you're not feeling that way, you will be feeling that way soon. This ace tells you that now is a good time to start something new. So your challenge is that, well, you got something new coming in that you'll have a lot of passion for, a lot of will and desire, or someone's coming towards you this way. It could be the beginning, the beginning of a new love relationship. Yeah, this person will be really passionate towards you. But you're confused. You're not sure. Or either you're still confused or stuck in your head about um, what we just talked about, the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. You're still at a point of confusion because you were holding on to something really tight. So you're still stuck in your head about it, but you probably will be trying to let let something go, maybe let go of an un unattainable lover, which will bring about the possibility that someone can be there for you, someone better. That's what I'm picking up. For a lot of you, Scorpios, it's about letting go of something. Because the hangman is showing you're confused and you need to let go of maybe an attempt to control a situation. Because that's what this, you could be doing instead of trying to hold on too tightly to your, to your finances. You're trying to control a situation. And maybe you realize you need to let it go because it's just causing a lot of confusion. And you got this great new beginning that's trying to happen. Yeah, and you could miss out because it's, it's, this new beginning is going to come in really fast. So take this as a, a warning if you're confused or stuck in your head about something. It's saying that you should let it go because you've got something really wonderful coming in. Some type of new beginning or could be several new beginnings. But if you're stuck in your head and confused... You could miss out on this great new beginning that you, you've got coming in with this Ace of Wands. So be careful of that. You don't want to stay confused too long. Now, for the outcome, we got the Knight of Cups and we got the Two of Wands. So the Knight of Cups, like most of all the Cups, is very optimistic. Great card to see in a reading. This one comes with messages, so you could be trying to reach out to someone. Or someone could be trying to reach out to you. Uh, it's good news. It's the kind of news that we all want to receive. It tells you that things are going well. 
and that you'll be um, feeling charged up, ready for action, or maybe the person that's coming towards you is going to be like this. Um, this Knight of Cups, it often means good news, particularly in the realm of matters of the heart. So someone's really excited to reach out towards you or you are excited to reach out towards someone. And it's about being romantic and sensitive. Now, it's with this Two of Wands. The Two of Wands, it's about trying to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. It indicates a partnership with another person. This could be business or personal. But it reminds us to stay mindful of the, of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So, wow, you got this someone that's want, wanting to be romantic and sensitive towards you. Um, somebody's coming in like this. This could be a new person. This person um, will take your mind off of being so confused or stuck in your head like you were about something. And it looks like it brings about a new, a new beginning. Yeah, so maybe you're excited to reach out to them or they're excited to reach out to you. There'll be a lot of communication, but it's with this two of wands. So it looks like you're gonna have to try to make a, you got, well, you got two options towards the future. Because that's what the Two of Wands is about. If you can see the details of this picture, Two of Wands is a below the word outcome. He's got his hand tied with a rope to one wand, and his ankle is tied to the other wand, and he's more focused towards the bird in the wand where his ankle is tied. So you're going to have to make a choice. Yeah, maybe it looks like you might have to decide, do you want to be with this person that's charging in to be romantic and sensitive, or do you want to take a different path? So it's about trying to make a decision, but you, but Scorpio, you got someone that's really wanting to be with you. It may be a new person. I'm picking it for most of you, it is because you got this ace of wands here which is about new beginnings so yeah somebody is really feeling you and i'm picking up that you'll be feeling this person too but you're trying to make a decision because you were in an unhealthy place for a little while so you might just try to be trying to decide do you just want to take a different path or do you want to focus on this person that's coming in and i'm picking up that you'll be focused on this person that's coming in because this man he's smiling at this bird and he's got, he's got his ankle tied to that wand facing the bird yeah and he looks kind of happy there i don't know if you can see his face but you got somebody that's coming in that's going to make you happy but you, you you're trying to make a decision do you want to go this way or do you want to go that way but you got somebody Coming in, Scorpio, that's gonna make you, that's gonna put a smile, a nice smile on your face. So that's the reading that I have for you for September. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how do you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Scorpio, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and taking good care of yourself during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, just know that it will pass. And we'll all get through this. So please come back and join me for the next Scorpio reading. Just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. So I can never say it enough, Scorpio. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. Have a great day. Take care.